What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And if you have ever wondered how LA gets its water, well, it's right here at the Cascades at the LA Aqueduct. Let's get into how it happens. So the five-year construction of this pipeline and this whole project was completed in 1913. The brainchild of civil engineer William Mulholland. It was compared to building the Panama Canal as far as complexity comes from 233 miles away, the Owens River Valley. And uh, William Mulholland, civil engineer and the namesake of Mulholland Drive, famously said to the residents of Los Angeles, there it is, take it. In 1905, Mulholland recommended to the Board of Water that the Owens Valley in the Eastern Sierras was the only viable source of supplemental water for the city's population. The following year, LA had an application for rights of way across federal lands for the purpose of constructing the aqueduct. So the most difficult part of the construction was the tunneling. There were 142 separate tunnels, totaling 43 miles in length. You can see the scale of the tunnels here and the tools that they had at the time to dig these things out. So the roadless territory spanned by this $23 million water system was too tough for the automobiles of that era. So they had mule teams hauling the materials for the pipes and everything necessary for the build. I'm telling you, the scope of this project was massive. Just look at this thing. At one point, there were 6,000 workers working on the pipeline and they had housing, living quarters, cooks, mess halls, and the whole deal to house all of the uh, employees and laborers. So the use of steel was limited by its tremendous cost being that it was imported from Pennsylvania at the time. So they had to build these cement plants and in increments throughout the uh, construction. Even towards the completion of the project, most of the work was still done by mules, even though technology was improving. And they eventually had some steam shovels and dredges and even the first Caterpillar tractors doing the work. But right here, you can see the scale of it with some mules adding a little section of pipeline. So when Mulholland was up in that car earlier, this is effectively what he was looking at. This is the beautiful swath of land that consists of the Owens River Valley in the Eastern Sierras. A group that included Mulholland was labeled the San Fernando Syndicate, which eventually led to Water Wars, which was eventually fictionalized and made into a movie called Chinatown starring Jack Nicholson. Water get turned into drinking water anyway. Well, south of the 5 Freeway, also in Silmar, there's a filtration plant where a chemical process consolidates the dirt and impurities, pushes them through anthracite coal, and as soon as 45 minutes later, it enters the city's water system. This process cleans 600 million gallons a day, 166 billion gallons per year. All right, LA, there it is. Take it. It's been a minute.